Ashley, if you'd been watching BBC television 27 years ago tonight, you'd have witnessed one of the landmark occasions in the whole history of sport. Oh, there it is! The left hook! Frazier's at last caught up with him. Tremendous left hook. Well, that night he became unquestionably the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, and he joins us now from his gymnasium in Philadelphia. Would he welcome Smoking Joe Frazier? Hey, John, how are you? Now, Joe, the whole world used to stop when you used to fight Ali and also when Foreman was involved in those amazing fights in the early 70s. How proud are you to have been involved now in what were those amazing moments when, when literally the world stopped to watch two guys slugging each other out? Yeah. I, I would say, John, it was a lot of excitement at that time. Matter of fact, I think that we, uh, two athletes that shut New York down and I would say the whole entire world were there and they see all the excitement going on. And, and I won that one, and that was the one I really needed to win. You sure did. And what was the most mind-blowing, perhaps the, perhaps the hardest fight you ever had? I think the hardest fight that I had was George. I, I tried him twice, and I couldn't get around this guy. And plus, as of now, this guy is still fighting, so therefore I have nothing to be ashamed of because George is a big, strong, tough guy. But you say George is still fighting, and he's only just a little bit younger than you. So why aren't you still out there doing it? Well, I would say I had ups and downs, hair and there. I love, <laughs> I love what I'm doing. I say I had to make some changes because my family wasn't happy. They weren't happy the things that I do. And matter of fact, I didn't probably look good because I had ups and downs and problems with my eyes and stuff. Sure. But you had one comeback fight and called it quits after that. What, what, what was it that made you decide that it was time to, time, time to call it quits? Well, the, the comeback was more like, uh, well, I thought I won the fight. I guess all the fighters in the world does feel like he wins the fight if he didn't win it. But I thought I would want it clear. And, and I look back, why should I keep going fighting? And therefore, it looked like I can't win the fight of a good decision. Mm. So therefore, I just hang it up. Now, do tell us, because your story is a real sort of rocky stuff, rags to riches. Can you tell us a story about, about your left arm, which is all crooked and which actually led to you having that amazing left hook? It's, it, it was back in the, in the days where my, my dad was, uh, had one arm and I was his left-hand man all the time. And I, I stuck with my father everywhere I go. And in the afternoon when I come from school, I did my little chores and stuff, and then my mother gave me like an hour on the bag every day to hit. So therefore, I've learned to throw my left hook on my own, and, and it happened. Illy, you got any memories of watching Frazier Ali? Were of you in some tennis tournament somewhere in the world? Of course I watch. I watch him very much. And it's, uh, you know, uh, I think in the 70s, everybody watched them, and you know, that uh, yeah. match in Kinshasa was unbelievable. And even in the eastern country, you know, People watching are interested in the box. Joe, I must ask you, because at, at the time of your great rivalry, a lot of bad words were exchanged between you and Muhammad Ali. Do you regret that now? Well, I, I would say that it, it, it was a great fight. We were two great athletes together. It was made to be, uh, if, you, if you look back on, uh, on the Bible, uh, history uh, doesn't reflect on the Bible, you understand? The, the Bible was here first, mm. and then there were David and Goliath. Which were you? I'm David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm David. And, and, and I did a job that I had to do, and it was no animosity at that time. As time went along, then the butterfly got to the point where he wants to call people different names, animal, and I don't think it was right. Mm. But the gentleman sitting next to you, I'm trying to learn how to play some, some tennis. All right. <laughs> Maybe he can show me some pointers. 
I will. I, hey. I will if you come to Romania and beat up all these politicians, please. <laughs> Boxing, <laughs> boxing is one of the most easiest sports in the world, as far as I'm concerned. All you gotta do, go in shape, get right. The guy hits you, hit him back. <laughs> okay. So that's the way it is. You can keep your body in condition. Just keep on fighting. And this fight game is so great, and I love it. I, I grew up on the, the gymnasium, and. I'm still here in Philadelphia and I run a gymnasium for the young men. Joe, if Ali was sitting on this couch next door to Ilya now, what, what would you say to him? Would, would you sort of like to kiss and make up almost? Uh, I would say, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> <You ready? laughs> let's go. Uh, and uh, just... over, the year, over the years that, uh, you know, we were great friends, you know, I, my heart bleed, you know, for what happened as time go down through the line, you know. None of us want one another to be hurt, uh, handicapped with this game, but it's a tough game and sometimes you put your life on the line and you never know what's going to happen when you wind up uh, call quits. Sure. Now, just changing subject completely because, I mean, in another world, you could actually have been a great soul singer, couldn't you? You could have been, I don't know, the next Marvin Gaye or Otis Redding. Have a look at this. Hey, what? Maybe you missed your vocation, Joe. Huh? Maybe you should have been a singer and not a boxer. Oh, well, I, I can do both of them. Matter of <laughs> fact, I, kept it, I kept it all together. Matter of fact, I was over there in 71 on a, on a musical tour. And I love it. I, I met them good people. And let's say I always love London because there's a lot of excitement going on all the time. You guys don't ever sleep. <laughs> well, I hope you're right when we leave the programme tonight. Um, just a, a yeah. final point to you, Joe, because when, if, Lewis and Tyson fight this year, who do you think might be the next undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? I'm, I love Lewis. He's the big guy, you understand? Uh, let's say he's taking on Holyfield or Mike Tyson. Simple as that. Big man? <laughs> Well, when Lewis, Holyfield, Tyson, who do you think is the best fighter in the world at the moment? Oh, well, I've talked to the champion. That's uh, Van Holyfield. He's the champion, so therefore my hats have to come off for him. I, I think he's a small guy. Uh, I don't think I would have no problem with him. Not at all. But... <laughs> Well, 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 maybe, no, he's, now he speak like Mohammed. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe when they have the over 55s uh, heavyweight championship, Joe, maybe you'll be in there pitching. Thank you very much for talking yeah. to us. Ladies and gentlemen, two legends of the 1970s, Joe Frazier and Ilya Nastasic. <laughs>